What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Are you looking to install a new metal roof and want to avoid the cost of tearing off your old shingle roof? A question we get asked all the time is if you can put a metal roof over a shingle roof. The quick answer is yes, you can. However, a better question might be, should you install a metal roof over a shingle roof? There's a lot of variables for proper metal roof installation and overlooking important details could mean your roof won't perform to its fullest potential. And when investing in a premium roof system, especially like standing seam metal, you should do things right the first time. Today, I'll go over the top three things you should know before installing a metal roof over a shingle roof. Number one, building code. When it comes to installing a metal roof in any situation, the first question you should ask is, are you installing according to code? In many parts of the US, building code dictates that you can't have more than one roof over an existing roof. That means you need to check and make sure you're not stacking a third or fourth layer of roofing onto your home or building. Not installing to code could result in fines or a lower property value for your building. Remember, metal roofs are built for longevity. Installing over a shingle roof means you won't know what's going on under that roof. You could have multiple existing roof coverings on. For example, you could have a shingle roof that's 10 years old stacked on top of another shingle roof that's 15 years old, and the decking underneath that is 25 years old or older. That's gonna make it hard to see how much plywood needs replacing before putting a long-term roofing system over top your building. If you still want to install over shingles, there are options if you need to replace a section of decking before installing metal. You could tear the shingles off in those areas, repair the decking, and put shingles down again to make it level. But when you're spending good money for a durable 40, 50, 60 year roofing system, you wanna make sure your deck is in the best possible condition. Number two, installation method. The next thing to consider is how your metal roof will be attached. Two methods that we see most often are installing the standing seam panels directly over the top of shingles, or installing a batten system over the shingles and then attaching the metal panels. With the first method, we never recommend having your metal panels touching the shingles. You want some kind of gap or void between them. This is because the granulated surface of shingles can rub up against the backside of metal, potentially wearing the panels and corroding them over time. Adding some kind of slip sheet or underlayment between the shingle roof and metal panel reduces that risk. Now, the second method involves laying down wood battens over the shingles and then attaching metal panels. This happens all the time. However, this will also make your install a little bit more complicated as the perimeter flashings will need their own battens to make them flush with the battens in the middle of the roof. Keep in mind that battens will follow any imperfections in the deck or the shingles just like any other decking would. Number three, heat transfer. Metal roofing has cool roofing properties, so while the metal panels might cool off faster as the sun goes down, the shingles underneath will retain that heat and take much longer to dissipate than the metal roof, meaning you might lose some of those cool roofing benefits by installing over an existing shingle roof. The bottom line really comes down to this. Can you put a standing seam metal roof over top of an existing shingle roof? The answer is yes, but if you're spending a lot of money for standing seam metal roofing, it's a long-term roofing product, and you're putting it over top an existing older roof deck, which could have leaks or other problems, that's probably why you're getting it replaced, it could affect the longevity and lifespan of your new metal roof, it could create opportunities for condensation, and a diminished performance of the standing seam system. So no matter what you choose, make sure that whoever is installing the metal roof understands the potential pitfalls and risks involved so they can help you mitigate those. We do have other videos about installing standing seam metal roofing over shingles, including some where we have practical demonstrations of an actual roof system. So if you have any questions, comment down below. We'd love to answer them and make sure you check out those other videos. Subscribe here if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.